Is Godzilla X Kong the new empire, setting up a creature far more powerful than either Shimo or the new enhanced form of Godzilla? Deep in the past of the Iwa culture, legend tells of a Gojira who laid waste to the most powerful titans of the age, and based on a few key details, we have reason to believe that this particular Gojira is being set up for a return as Space Godzilla, a being even older than the Godzilla in the MonsterVerse that we know, and perhaps the final enemy titan. So today, Heralds of the Titans, let's talk about the myth of the Zos Lahawa, and how this particular titan may be the peak of what a Gojira can achieve. Much of this information comes from the novelization for Godzilla vs. Kong. The legend of the Zlahawa goes back into the distant past of the Iwa, who claimed that this is the Gojira responsible for the beginning of the Titan War. According to the story, Zlahawa lived in harmony with both the Gojira on the surface world and the Titanus Kong of the Hollow Earth, and during this age of peace, they were able to coexist with one another. This peace, however, would prove to be short-lived, as this Gojira, the Zlahawa, was said to have eaten a star, this granting him incredible power that none of the other Titans had seen before. However, this incredible power would come at a dire price. He sought to eradicate the inhabitants of the Hollow Earth, from the human settlers of Agartha to their protectors in the Titanus Kong, and this particular, now insane Gojira was so powerful that it called for the unity between the Gojira species and the Kong. The two, for the first time, were forced to work together in order to ward off this now great evil Gojira, and eventually the Kong were able to banish Zawahawa to a vortex deep within the Hollow Earth. But it seems as though there's far more to this story than initially meets the eye, and why we believe that this ancient evil Gojira is now Space Godzilla and some iteration of the Toho Titan. Soon, the phrase to eat a star became an Iwa saying that referred to any instance of a Gojira absorbing massive amounts of radiation of any form. Due to this particular evolution in the etymology, it seems as though the Zlahawa didn't literally consume a star itself. But the saturated energy deep within the Hollow Earth is what this evil Gojira was able to consume, energy that eventually drove him insane. In the original Iwa text, it refers to him as being turned wicked by the star. This seems to indicate that the cost of absorbing this particular type of radiation or energy resulted in the Zlahawa becoming far more aggressive and hostile to all species. But why is this important right now if this version of the Gojira was destroyed? Well, we believe something similar could be happening to Godzilla. In the new trailer for the new empire, it seems as though something is happening to our Godzilla, and it could be a result of this new pink form. In the trailer, we see him attacking Kong. This is odd because the two have set aside their differences in the past in order to defeat Mecha Godzilla, and this variation of Godzilla seems to be much more violent now than he's been in the past, perhaps this energy too making our Godzilla more aggressive. If this is the case, then this leads evidence to the story that Zlahawa, which proves that the pink energy of the Hollow Earth is capable of corrupting a Gojira's mind and make them into a savage beast rather than the reasonable protector of nature. This says a few things about not just Godzilla, but this ancient Gojira as well, primarily that Godzilla likely understands this corruption to some degree. As the threat of Shimo arises in the new empire, we see Godzilla taking on a few different forms and enhancements, starting with a pulsating blue form which is the result of him taking in human-based radiation from power plants and surface sources. His pink form, however, only arises once he's encased in ice indicating that he might need to make a sacrifice in order to gain enough power to prevent a second Ice Age and Shimo. If Zlahawa went through the same thing though, then it is possible that he's still out there. More importantly, there is evidence to suggest that he may make a return in the near future. The latest merchandise for the upcoming entry of the New Empire shows the formation of different crystalline structures within the caverns of the Hollow Earth, and we can actually see these crystals beginning to corrode and infect Godzilla. This design seems to be a clear homage to the iconic Godzilla foe, the creature known as Space Godzilla, and we can see the variations made in Godzilla's body as he is absorbing this pink energy. In terms of Toho's Space Godzilla though, his origins can be traced back to when Godzilla's cells were sent into space and drifted into a black hole. By siphoning the radiation of the latent universe and the power of the black hole, these cells mutated into a clone of the original Godzilla. 
only with a new power base to draw from, and therefore, some changes in his appearance. Not only does he demonstrate some psychic abilities, but a very similar crystalline structure to what we see in the Godzilla trailer from the New Empire. If this is the case, then the MonsterVerse might be setting up an adaptation of Space Godzilla which deviates from his original origins, and pulls the Zla Hawa back into the fold as an ancient evil Godzilla, corrupted by the energy of the Hollow Earth, and the return of the original Gojira that started the Titan War. With it seemingly being that this is not legend at all, but is actual history. We believe that the Zla Hawa did in fact exist and was one of the Gojira just like Godzilla and the rest of his people, and he was welcome within the Hollow Earth itself. Godzilla, however, doesn't venture into the Hollow Earth very often unless it's absolutely necessary. He only ever uses the tunnels for short periods at a time and generally prefers to remain on the surface world. And we believe that the Zla Hawa legend is the reason why Godzilla avoids the Hollow Earth. As Zla Hawa spent more and more time with the Kong deep within the Hollow Earth, he began to uncover the secrets to a brand new, primordial form of incredibly powerful energy. This is the pink hue of the deep hollow earth material. From here, the Gojira either slowly acclimated more and more to the energy source, or he became curious and wanted to absorb massive amounts of it at a single moment. While we don't know which of these ideas took place, we suggest that he did end up absorbing a lot of the pink radiation that would drive him insane and make him more and more aggressive. This would then become a cautionary tale for Godzilla, which explains why he is so averse to spending unnecessary time in the Hollow Earth. It also united the two against the Zla Hawa, just like the story claims, and that this is also where Kong learned that a Gojira scale can continue holding radiation within itself even after it's been removed from a living Gojira. Once they discover this, they wanted to use these dorsal fins for themselves, but the Gojira refused. And this eventually leads to the outbreak of the Great Titan War, which nearly eradicated both sides. The Zla Hawa, however, might still be out there somewhere. And if this is true, then the crystals forming on Godzilla might also show themselves on this ancient, evil Godzilla. And we are likely looking at a different adaptation of the Space Godzilla character. This means that our Godzilla knows the risks of taking on pink radiation, yet he decides to do so anyway since Shimo and the Scar King are so powerful. But it could also mean that there is another Alpha somewhere out there that has been banished into the depths of the Hollow Earth, as again according to the story, the Zla Hawa was thrown into a vortex, not killed. It could also mean more time in the Hollow Earth, more radiation, and more power. He has been growing more and more in strength day in and day out for eons while Godzilla has remained close to the surface. This means that he may not only be stronger than Godzilla at this point, but much more unstable. This amount of time would have certainly driven him to the brink of insanity even further, and if he even breaks topside, his rampage would be more violent than anything we've seen before and could literally destroy everything, titans and all. Right now, we don't know much about the great Godzilla, even with Kong by his side in this brand new form, but we do know this La Hawa would be a massive threat. If this theory is true, then this is the ultimate end of the Titan chain, and this version of Space Godzilla could prove to be one of Godzilla's greatest enemies. The more we learn about the new empire though, and when we eventually see the film, we'll be breaking down more easter eggs, but it would be absolutely insane to have a post credit scene reveal the Zla Hawa and Space Godzilla, an ancient, older, evil Gojira. But anyway my friends, what do you think of this theory and idea? What are your thoughts on the Zla Hawa from the novelization for Godzilla vs Kong? Do you think that these are the brand new origins of Space Godzilla? And could this indicate why Godzilla's spikes and dorsal plates appear to be more crystal-like? Is this a hint at things to come, with a later Gojira being the final foe of the MonsterVerse? Thank you as always so much my friends for watching our video today, smash that subscribe button to keep up with the MonsterVerse, and have a great one.